the mid. <laughs> I like that. Give me one second. I'm just tweaking with one graphic thing, and it should be good. Okay. Not a problem. We're just about ready. Self some uh, some tango, so he'll be fine. It's it's pretty much both heroes farming. Like Medusa's already got levels in the Mystic Snake. Tried to use the level one that onto the range creep after two tower attacks, oh, wow. and I missed that That's one unfortunately. Like Papuk goes down to the Juggernaut. Poke a little bit. Oh, he couldn't quite get on. That's unfortunate. But I, I think I I mean asking me, I always think Blink on Jug is is paramount. I think it's very very good. So if I was him, I would get it right after this. I would get it like right now, but. Uh, We'll see. I don't, I don't think he got it until much later. He's just going to rush in here onto the Rubik, and that's going to be a very easy kill. Maybe he can right-click down this, this AA as well. Yeah. Going to catch him, force the TP. They don't have that. There's Fissure. And Polar going to give up a couple. That's a double kill. And there's going to be an Echo Slam. They caught Mag out as well. Very nice. So a beautiful exchange that time for C-Deck as they tally three. They have all the tools to begin to carve this map up, and they did that so effectively in game one, so we know they're capable. It's just a matter of execution, and here would be a nice start. If they can even just drop Garter for us, maybe back. And, yep, there we go. Garter actually got a fissure off and completely turned that around. Now we're going to have Mag going. It's a waiting ripped off. Maybe using his ult. He got another fissure off. Is there any reaction coming? Hell yeah, there is. Seven. Gets the lasso on the Illidan. Is Illidan going to drop? He's trying to make a run for it. Does die under his own tier one. And it's a three for one thus far. Polar gave up the one they really wanted to keep alive, but they did manage to bring down three more. Behind that, Mag still not done with the pursuit. Trying to chase down San Sheng, and no! Maelstrom proc, however, now they're gonna turn it back around, maybe playing ballsy as hell, and can't even chase down FNG. The need for greed hurts him. And a bat. Let's see. Trying to find someone. Ooh! And that's actually a bit of a waste there. Demon tried to jump in. They had the ward on the high ground. Here comes Seven back in. He needs to ulti. If he can sense the bats coming, Demon needs to spread. Oh, no, he didn't get it. There's going to be the song, though. Oh, they may have baited it. A beautiful cancel on that. Now they're going to be able to try to track him down. Oh. Look at that damage. Mag's going to end up taking the bit. Buyback from Jug in the meantime. He got the Oh, he did. Once again, Demon coming through with big plays. And VP has him on the run. Maybe from behind, trying to track it down and do damage, but Phobos is right there with him. So c -Dak manages to get a couple of kills on the back of it. And are they going to be able to get Q? Yeah, I think he's just dead. One, yep. Up, you got him. Triple kill for Illidan. And in the meantime, c -Dak has moved into the Roastman. Now keep in mind that So he's... He's actually creating a lot of space in these team fights. So if they, could they focus him? They can't kill him down without a defusal, I don't feel, at a, at a nice rate. They need to get the defusal before they actually focus him down. But until then, he is just creating a lot of space if VP Polar does put their attention on him. There's going to be a lasso caught mag this time. And here comes a song, but not before they can save Ooh, no. their puck. There's an ice path. And the Fissure turned it around. Now we're going to see the Juggernaut caught and locked down. Do they have it? Hell yeah, they do. Age is gone. There's a Thunder God's Wrath that's a little mistimed. Didn't even get the damage onto the Jug. They didn't even need it. He's going to be able to blink away as soon as he respawns off the Aegis pop. And wow, FNG just fed. Got way too far forward. Hell, they may be able to get the Jug a second time. It's there from downtown. The Demon's there. Oh, boy. I thought Demon actually might have been... Leading off into the river to begin with. The rest of them are hanging around kind of in the, in the vicinity of that tier two. Illidan's still just waiting here in the river. Oh. And they're going to flank them. Yeah, they're this is a come. very nice ward here coming up from Polar as well. Oh, there we go. They're going to use the Thunder God's Wrath. Seven got silenced. He's going to drop a meal now. Maybe he's out in no man's land by himself. There's Song of the Siren. Ice Blast, however, does not connect the way they would have liked. In the meantime, here comes the Juggernaut. What the? Wow. Okay. That was very unlucky. <laughs> Extremely unlucky. And now, Jugger trying to find some target to get on top of them to do their damage. It's a one-for-one one thus far. Very bizarre engagement this time. Demon God Fisher gives himself away. In the meantime, Illidan manages to secure a kill on his own with Radiance Burn. And, yeah, it looks like the Jug manages to get himself another kill in the meantime, too. Now Illidan being pursued out by maybe. Bat gets a BKB here pretty soon, which he actually is very close to. Oh, action in mid. This is a big kill if they can get it. They gotta get it quick. There's gonna be an Echo Slam. Mag in trouble. He's down. Demon's down. And maybe still standing. There's the <laughs> Eagle song. They know for sure there's no buyback. It's a question of whether they saw it. I, I presume they did. I mean, they're all pro players. They know. They look at items. And that's a big tell. The Dire Tower was top, was destroyed. Or sorry, the Dire killed the tower top. And so this is gonna tell you that they want to fight this. Here we go. Demon. 
target it out. BKB use. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of right click. And they're going to be able to take down at least one set of racks here. If they only get one, I don't expect to see a GG at all. Just because you have an August Iron, you drag it out. And, yep. yep, they're continuing to play this very patiently. Yeah, I don't think they have to be scared. I really don't. With Naga dead for 18 seconds, I think they could completely oh. fight. Oh, my God. Very don't. nice aggressive play. Don't. And now they're going to rotate. Ice Blast is going to end up just catching one. They're going to try to turn this around with what damage they have. But Illidan just doesn't feel tanky at all. Maybe, on the other hand, even as low as he is, just doesn't feel like they can ever kill him. And they do manage to force them back out. They may, will be able to keep up their melee racks at least for a little while, maybe. Sitting at 15 HP, has the Aegis pop. Illidan's gonna get right on top of it. They can turn this, I feel. I mean, maybe it's huge. He's coming up with a full mana and full life. Yep, here he goes. There's the ulti. They gotta figure out, up oh, stone. And look at this, just look at this. There's the bat, right on top of him. Four staffs ahead, Illidan hung around way too long. He's down again, once again, Sans buyback. And they'll be able to chase this all the way back. Demon caught with a fissure. He can't steal that time. Well as he's played, he'll be tagged in the back one more time. That'll be a double kill for Navy. That'll be a second set of racks down for C-Deck. To hold on to this last remaining set of racks in Tier 3. They can't do it for long, though. Bottom lane and mid lane are both pushing in, so they're going to have to decide to engage. Or we'll watch creeps bang their base. Illidan gonna be caught with the lasso from seven. Let's see what he got. Managed to get the lasso, but Illidan trying to use mirror image to get away. Got the song off. It doesn't matter. Too many BKBs. Three active. And one. Oh my goodness! FNG two shotted. And DK Phobos tracked down as GG is called. So Bowler, who looked so sharp in game one, not quite as sharp here in game two. C deck. Puts their lineup through the rigors and secures a game two win. We're going to game three, Trout. Yeah, I, it was a very fun game to watch. I, I think Juggernaut played much better. I think right when he got that blink, things started to change. I really do. And uh, I think. He